Cheers. How are you, my internet family? I am back with my sister. Hello. Um, and we just did a video on her channel where we put on our faces. We did like a get ready with me. Yeah. And uh, we're using our favorite products at the moment. So go check that out. Yeah, I'll link that down below. But we wanted on my channel to talk you through how we get the face off at the end of the night yeah. so like makeup removal so we're kind of doing a get unready with us in our pajamas on the floor because that's just what we do i want to preface this by saying i use more products than my sister there is an eight year age gap so i'm older my skin has more issues <laughs> more age <laughs> oh, I'm a wrinkly old wrinkly old bitch <laughs> she has beautiful young teenage skin that she wants to look after and keep it in good condition I have damaged late 20s skin with a multitude of problems um, but we still use some similar products because they're just the best products and we've tried out a lot of skincare even though when I was um, in my younger teens I did have quite bad skin like, you did I yeah. suffered with acne at a point in my life like and all around went. my t-zone area but she got onto skincare like at an early age, which yeah. I didn't. I just, I wish I did. I'm so glad you avoided getting scars. Yeah. Though. We're gonna show you how we remove it as well as we talk through the products. Yeah. Um, but we're gonna start with what we do just in the mornings. We both use micellar water. Yes. And I use any one. Do you always use this one? Um. Yeah, I always use this one. The Garnier micellar cleansing water. Um. And I explained in a video about uh, how this works before in a, in a favorites video I think it was I just use these little cotton pads in the morning just to cleanse my face with yeah. it and it kind of just it grabs onto all the excess oil and sebum and skin cells and stuff like that and it just removes them from your face it's just a lovely gentle way to cleanse your face without using water or anything like that so and it's very refreshing very refreshing it's so nice so in the mornings I use that and then we both moisturize right in the mornings. Yes. I always use the Effaclar Duo Plus as my moisturizer. It's great for the marks left over from acne. And I always use the Oriflame Optimal Skin Youth Day Cream because this is for young skin and I've been using this for like years. Like years now and I absolutely love it. It really um goes well with my skin. Um, so that's what I use. And it's really affordable as well. Oh yeah, it's very affordable. I feel like this is quite affordable as well for the, what it does. Um, and I've been using this again for years. Love it to bits. So now we're moving on to the nighttime. So like there's a bunch of stuff here. My nighttime skincare routine is a lot more in depth than mine. in the day. Um, and more in depth than mine. Because <laughs> I'm younger and my skin doesn't need as much. Yeah. So... For makeup removal, right? So I'm gonna just start off with this. I usually use a cleansing balm of some kind, like the Emma Hardy one, but as you'll see, this is empty. Let me smell again. It smells so good. Oh, the Emma Hardy me. Moringa Cleansing Balm is the sex. I love it so much. I also like the one from the Body Shop. There's loads of different cleansing oils and balms I like. If if I don't have any of those, like right now, I'll use coconut oil. Just extra virgin organic coconut oil not like the regular one for cooking um i used that the other night coconut. to take off my eye makeup and it was really nice what this does is it kind of dissolves the makeup so i'll massage that into my face all over and then i'll use like cotton pads or just tissue or whatever like a cleansing cloth and i'll remove all of the oil and after i've done that there's a slight film left over so i will use a purifying foaming gel cleanser this is one from the Roche Posay it's soap free it's for skin prone to imperfections um and it's really really gentle on sensitive skin love La Roche Posay's products I always trust them so that gets rid of then that film and it doesn't leave my skin feeling dry at night time I always use the micellar water as well to remove my makeup I find it like I really love it um I do need to use quite a few cotton pads to do it, but it yes. gets the job done. <laughs> quite a few. She has like a stack of <gasps> cotton pads like soaked in brown. <laughs> it's so satisfying though. I love using it and I'm like, yeah, look at that brown. It oh, does. Yeah. Like, So that's like a nice alternative to the oil if you are if you are afraid of oils. And after I have I have removed my makeup with the micellar water, I go in with the same face wash that Melanie was talking about. So the La Roche-Posay Effaclar one. So she explained it just there. And I, yeah, I only recently started using this, but I'm really liking it just to get any excess makeup yeah. off my face. It's really good to, to double cleanse if you wear as much makeup as us. <laughs> yeah, just to keep it nice and clean.
Now maybe one to two nights a week we both will wear a face mask. Here's a picture of us on <laughs> um, Instagram from like last night wearing the mask of Magnum Inti. So we can't use it again today to demonstrate because oh the mask of Magnum Inti oh, from eat Lush. It. So, so good. It smells beautiful. It does a great job at calming down inflamed spots or anything like that because it has honey in it which has like antiseptic properties and it's self-preserving so you don't need to keep this one in your fridge like some of the other Lush face masks. And yeah, it lasts like up to three months. Some of the other ones only last like a, a couple a week. of weeks. Yeah, yeah so. you're never gonna use that up. I also featured this in a favorite video. It's the Vichy Double Glow Peel Mask and this is amazing at brightening up your skin. If you're a little bit older, Um, you I wouldn't recommend that for you. No. They have a moisturizing one that's great but they're like 10 minute masks and we'll just smear that all over our clean face maybe once twice a week yes. let it sit and then wash it off on a day-to-day -day basis though i will often use the cero zinc toner from la roche posay um they're featuring very heavily this is not sponsored <laughs> although i do work with them sometimes because i love their stuff i spray this onto my clean face and it is good for oily kind of problem skin so i would tend to get oily in my t-zone and it just prevents that it's is so it just good. for oily skin yeah Um, the next thing I do at night time is I apply the Vichy Thermal Serum. I absolutely love this and it smells so, so good. Melanie introduced me to this um, a couple it's, of years ago. Yeah. Hyaluronic acid, it just makes your face look so plump and moisturized, so good. I love this, so I just put a thin layer of that all over my face and... Let yeah. it sink in. Yeah. And then you put moisturizer on top, right? Yeah, and, and then when in. I when that's um, set and sinked in, mm -hmm. I use the the nighttime moisturizer of the the same daytime one I use, but the nighttime one. So it's the Ari Flame Optimal Skin Youth Night Cream, and yeah, so they're like a combo set, and um, for youth skin, and I also have been using this for years and th these two together do wonders for she's my skin. very precious about our skincare routine yeah she's very careful about you know like not using other when you find something that works for you you just stick with it right yeah. like it makes no sense to change and i get sent products all the time that i just don't want to use i don't want to change up my routine because like like jessica i have one that works for me and i don't um, like using too many products on my face yeah. i try to keep it as minimal uh, as minimal as i can because i just feel that that works best yeah it does and, and the same as jesse i use the vichy aqualia serum cheers bottles they're gorgeous it's like a little potion bottle yeah i'll do a thin layer of that and i like to layer serums or i'll use this one instead so i'll use both or i'll use this instead this is my expensive my baby my is that <sighs> the 200 euro one no i bought a creme de la mer serum before that was awful and it was really expensive no we'll never talk about that again <laughs> this is the good jeans treatment from sunday riley this is quite expensive not that expensive but um it brightens exfoliates plumps lines evens hyperpigmentation and increases circulation for instant radiance and i'm obsessed with this the whole bottle's gone um so i've used it up like it's all gone i need to get another one on the back it said reveals younger skin and i was like yes um <laughs> so that's like the main re i feel like i use this instead of like an anti-wrinkle cream or whatever because it has rave reviews from skin experts and skin bloggers um amazing product and then finally i use something that jesse doesn't need no. which is an eye cream and when i said recently in a video that i was turning 27 people were like oh my god yeah, I feel, i've seen that i feel like i do look my age but at the same time I, my skin is good for my age i don't have any wrinkles or crow's feet or anything like that yet not yet <laughs> not yet um i've been using an eye cream now for a couple of years um been documenting that on my channel but this is the creamy eye treatment with avocado by keels and it's just a really thick um it doesn't have a strong smell no, no. but it's a really really thick cream and i just layer a big bunch of that all along there i get into bed looking like i've got some weird eye infection <laughs> but it sinks in overnight um and I'm really enjoying this. I find that I always wake up with that area nice and moisturized. If I forget to wear it though, I wake up and it can tend to feel quite dry and crusty. <laughs> so I really like I this. I actually might start using an eye cream because mommy was saying like the younger you start, the better.
the reason we are so into skincare is like our mum has used products like religiously on her skin since a very young age and her skin is amazing amazing like she she looks so much younger than she is her skin is in impeccable condition and we just kind of want to be like follow in her footsteps, footsteps. yeah <laughs> so yeah i get asked all the time about skincare and i thought i'd bring on my little sister since she started a channel you can go yes. check that out if you want um but i hope you enjoyed this hope you learned about some new products and i can now at least direct people to this video who are asking me for an updated skincare routine so that's us done. That's us done. And we'll see you again in another video. We're yes, we will. Try and collab more often. Yeah, since I have a channel now. So. Yeah, yeah. I love you too. Bye, guys. Bye bye.